The National Youth Employment Authority has rolled out a new model to create employment for 20,000 youth in private enterprises. The Business Employment and Assistance Program is designed to provide salary support of 500 CDs per employee recruited by small-scale enterprises who will be expected to provide a top-up. Chief Executive Officer Kofi Ejapon explains the beneficiaries will only be paid after the authority's monitoring system certifies the beneficiaries are engaged. Nanaya Ojima was at a press conference in Kumasi and has filed this report. According to research by the National Youth Employment Authority, small and medium scale enterprises are unable to employ enough staff due to the inability to meet statutory requirements, among other issues. To support these companies, the authority is targeting an average of two staff each dispatched to 10,000 companies who have signed up for the program from February this year. Kofi Ejapon explained further. Beginning February 2024, that's this year, we'll be onboarding these 20,000 employees as beneficiaries of the Youth Employment, Employment Agency who will be paid every month as long as our monitoring and evaluation team satisfies that they have worked. The recruitment of the 20,000 will not be the end of unemployment in Ghana. But at least, my friends from the media, we would have given hope to some young man and woman and to reduce the growing unemployment rate. According to Mr. Japan, financing for the project is being released by the Finance Ministry. Even before the dispatch of the first batch of beneficiaries, it is envisaged that the program will be oversubscribed. He explains measures adopted to ensure the program is sustained. YEA has a stable source of funding from the communication service tax, or what, or what we normally call, or usually call, the top tax. As we sit here in this room, the taxes from the calls you make and the data you use all come to the YEA to fund the operations of the agents. We have management board with the support of our mother ministry put together a deliberate policy to direct the use of these funds solely to the creation of jobs. Meanwhile, the YEA has assured of its willingness to fulfill its mandate of reducing unemployment among the youth. For Joy News, Nanaya Ojima reporting. Employment rate is expected to remain flat at 4% in 2024 and 2025. That's according to Fitch Solutions. There's more in this report. This is the same as 2022. According to the UK-based firm, the unemployment rate, if accompanied by easing inflation, will see a rise in real wages for many households. While this is a marginal increase, that should not have much bearing on consumer incomes. The unemployment rate has been rising since 2017, and Fitch Solutions said it will continue on this path over the medium term and beyond. It added that the size of the country's labor force is reduced by low life expectancy at around 64.3 years of age, which is itself a result of the low level of government expenditure on health care and the prevalence of waterborne diseases and chronic illnesses such as HIV AIDS. It concluded that a shortage of highly skilled workers also means that employers have to import workers from abroad to fill the gaps in the domestic workforce. 